I was looking for a caffeine free tea and I saw the snickerdoodle rooibos and so it has to happen because I'm sure it'll be bad but if I wait a long time then I'll be like maybe it's bad because it's old tea and I should try a fresh one and see if it's better whereas now I get to drink it decide it's gross and I really know that it's gross okay This is highly tactical. I don't like fruit rooibos. Probably. I don't like fruity teas generally. Although that pear rooibos or whatever was actually okay. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. I can't believe I'm doing this for people. Have I started to use the Berkey? The Berkey's in the closet because the refrigerator has a filter water thing on it, and that seems fine. Guys, this is going to be fucking disgusting. It just smells like very strongly like some artificial snickerdoodle flavoring. It does smell like snickerdoodle. I'll give it that. But like that mixed with tea, it's not a good smell. I might not be able to drink very much of this, but we're going to give it a try. To warm the teapot, being fair, we're giving it every possibility. Putting a spoon in. I don't know if I ever saw a labyrinth. I feel like I did, but I don't remember. hate this tea. Can you make an air bridge with mirrors moving while you're in the air? No. No, they do not hold you up. They do not hold you up. Could you time it while falling? An air bridge with mirrors moving while you're in the air. Timed, well, I don't know. There definitely are some levels where you fall past a mirror and teleport. Yeah. Um,
Okay. I'm having one peanut butter M&M. Mmm. There are a lot of lily pad levels. Hmm. That gives me an idea for a level to do. Remember yesterday how I said there's a level called Hyper Jump and that makes the game worth $100 right there? Uh, we could definitely do Hyper Jump too. I think Hyper Jump too is a possibility. Do I plan to include a level editor? No, the game's too big for us to work on that kind of stuff. Um, it's quite possible that we might add one later, but we just, we can't do it. There's just making the game is a, a lot of work. Have I tested the game on the Steam Deck? No but we'll make sure it works on there. I mean, it, it probably already works. It's just, you know, are there some things we can tune for Steam Deck controls and stuff? Now here's a gamble. Do I understeep the snickerdoodle tea to make it less gross? Or do I err on the side of oversteeping it, which might be unfair and make it taste grosser than it is? If Steam Deck is still around by then, good point. Good point. I believe Valve emulates Google in many ways. Everyone will know about how Hyperjump 2 works. Well, initially, I wanted to tune some stuff again. Um, like, for example, we decided to change the wizard rule again a little bit. Um, Mm, where was it? It was, uh, it was one of these. Dragon or wizard scan. Okay. There's a few different things that we want to do in the rule set. Um, Um, I am not sure where this was. I feel like it's this one, but I don't. Ah, it was this right here. Okay. I'm going to pour the tea now.
is poor. Uh, uh, okay, let's let it cool off a little bit. We're letting it cool off a little bit. So we're not going to require throughs at the destination. I think that's all we want to do there for that. Dang it. This tea is going to be gross. While that tea is cooling off, let me find the backup tea. Pacific peppermint, maybe. Pomegranate, acai, yum berry, no. Orange jasmine blossom. No, I really want no caffeine right now. Mystic mint, maybe. Blueberry rooibos. No, we're not going to do two rooibos in a row. Valentine blend. That is high caffeine. Assam tea. No, Missoula tea. Herbal blend. Wild cherry bark, vanilla, wintergreen, and anise. We could try this. It says best before July 2022, so we better have it soon. Okay. It's in the old tea runners packaging or intermediate. Most of my packages are the new packaging now. This, okay, this is the very, let me show you. This is the very old packaging. This one says best before November 2022, so I don't know. Maybe it was actually, maybe these were same generation and they just made it different depending on caffeine level or whatever. I don't know. And the new packaging is like schmancy. It costs one cent more per package from China. Guys, the U.S. is so fucked industrially when it comes to like China stuff. I don't even, I don't even know what to do. If you want to know why, watch this. Uh, watch the the video the All In podcast just put up today. This isn't as gross as it smells, but I'm probably not going to drink the whole thing. With how much China seems fucked at the moment, U.S. has a chance. Does China seem fucked at the moment? In what way? You did the first island stealing sausage roll, right? right? Right on. You have rolled some sausages. Where does English breakfast rank on the caffeine scale? Moderately high. It's pretty high. It's a black tea. Black teas have a lot of caffeine. Of course, you can mitigate that by the amount that you steep it or the amount of leaves that you use. Remember this, guys. Remember this level. I do. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. Okay. Okay. Now, do I still have a draft level set up with a wizard in the middle of stuff? Maybe not. I will use this one. So I'm just going to go here, just going to put that, we're going to put the wizard, we're going to put him there, 
Okay. And let's actually make this bigger. And we're going to make this a through beam. We're just testing that he will be able to swap with things even if they are not through beamed. Um, this one would not be because it's not affected by beams anyway. This one, this one, all right. So, okay. So wizard could like always swap to the source of a through beam. Okay, so uh, this seems successful. This was just, that was that change. Oh, you know what? Let's go back there. The line must be drawn here. The line must be drawn here. That level was made when I was 20. Wow, dude. Okay, next thing I want to do is test that some code works and then we're going to expand on it probably. So let me do this. This is going to be a spoilers like everything we fucking do here. Okay, so we we are merged and that is split, which is cool. Okay, so we actually want to modify this. We'll keep the wizards because we want to verify that that stays working with changes in the code. But I want to do um, this thing. Oh, I deleted our beam. Okay. This probably doesn't work. is the yeah so I think what we want is for those to clone merge as well because they're trying to move into the same square And right now that code is only being triggered on wizard clone object. And we really want it to be triggered for everybody. How many different vertex layouts do we use? We don't fucking no. I don't. Do you think I count vertex layouts? Like, 
things aren't like that really exactly anymore. Like nobody gives a shit what your vertex layout is. Like that's sort of a fixed function pipeline idea, right? Like in a modern graphics API, you've just got a buffer and you've got a program that reads the constants out of the buffer, just like you fucking wanted to have 20 years ago. And it doesn't matter what they are. Thank God. Like all the stupid crappity crap, not all of it, but some of it goes away. Okay. Okay, so let's see if this wizard code is readily adaptable to do the new thing. I hope that it is. Um, oh, uh, disappear, it was this, okay. If found is already teleporting, This is very much in wizard teleport code. That was an old comment that was out of date, by the way. Okay. Um, When we merge dudes, I'm going to make a function called maybe Okay, we can't even, we don't know who the other guy is here, but um, Mark, uh, existing wizard for turn order ID check. Or does that already happen? We will, we will find out. Basically, 
the way clones work is one of them has this field called turn order ID. It's a little bit of an implementation detail name, but that is set to the ID of the other entity. And that's just how we say, look, this is a clone of this other thing. Um, well, what if you have one guy who thinks he's a clone of another thing and then that other thing gets destroyed? Like, what do we do? And in cases like mirror stuff, we probably maybe check that maybe. Um, maybe not. I don't remember. And so, so I have said, hey, let's check that, please. Let's check that, please. Clone the target, merge the wizards. Okay, this merge code is very minimal. Like it's one, this is the thing that merges the wizards. <laughs> so um, that's not great because we're maybe gonna want additional sound effects and, and whatever. So we'll think about that, but first we need to make this work. Um, so when we move clones, move individual guy. What if So right now it's saying no you can't go. And what I'm tempted to do is say let's let you go if it's a teleport. So our can go function will return true. if you're a clone of the currently teleporting dude. Let's try that. And then, so that'll just, that'll still make a problem because we'll have two guys in the same square, but then we detect that after the fact, right? Um, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so can go. Gives me an idea for a level, by the way. I already have the level in my head, or at least the last half of it. It's, it's going to be wacky. Okay, okay, so... I want to do that and hyper jump two tonight. And we can only do that if we finish this. well enough to, to do it. I mean, we could do hyper jump now, actually. But. Yeah. Hyper jump, hyper jump, does whatever a hyper jump can. Uh, 
Okay. Um... Okay, so we're going to go uh, if other that entity type is guy and clones to move into the same square so as we detect a merge. Um, okay. If either of these is a guy, we're going to say um, is get primary clone by the other moved if other primary is moved primary then we do a thing hell yeah What the actual hell? I think I want to set something on results. Um, do we already put weird stuff on there? Um, And single that move info that move type is teleport and other dot move info dot move type teleport. Right? Hold on, what it's not other it is no. Um, wait, this is single. Oh, right. Um, it, it, we look at um, move info dot move type. Okay, we're gonna cowabunga here. Even though it. It shouldn't really be necessary to cowabunga there. We're just going to do it. Hold on. And uh, this is result dot. Did I put that? Yeah. Okay, this T is going to get poured out, but I am happy to announce that I've made it almost to the bottom of the big mug. So. That's great. Cowabunga. All right, but now the problem is we have two people in one square. See, that's not the best. But it's actually fine. Um, We have this thing called make default teleport, I think. OK. 
right, where? Oh my god, there's so many of these. Okay, this is before. This gives us the move info, so that's not really what we want to do. Um, we can run the merge in, like there's all sorts of places where we could do it. The problem is this is on the can go result. It's not really, Not really the best place. Mm. Let's just see who does this. is an endpoint beam move individual guy I'm having a little bit of a pre-crime headache here where I'm thinking about all the bugs that could happen. from not handling this in every single fucking place. <sighs> That's the pro like, I have to handle it one way or another and the failure mode is just different, right? Oh, you know what? No, 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 hold on. Hold on. I think we can do it in the transaction. Maybe, okay, let's see. Um.
if they are clones. Otherwise, log an error. Um, we could have handled this at each calling site, but it seemed error prone for a relatively new mechanic. Instead, to be handled, instead, can go just says yes if clones are trying to teleport onto each other. We'll put a tag over here. And then here we mark everyone but the first one as uh, um, as disappear after teleport incomplete merge SFX question mark. Okay. So for all the single moves, if it's not teleport, then we're fine. All right. Um, if it's already disappearing, then we don't need to worry about it. Okay. Um, Just give it a name. Um, J dot move info. Um, if okay, um, I suppose we could have to uh, if other dot entity ID or uh, If the entity ID is equal to um, single dot entity ID log error got two teleports for the same entity in the same uh, in, got two teleports in the same transaction for whatever entity oh uh, for Eddie, ID, whatever. ID string, single dot entity ID, continue, okay. Or actually just break single. That's, that's non-negotiable if that happens. Now, um, um, EA, Electronic Arts, uh, find EB is find manager other single the entity ID. If not, break single. Okay. Um, 
so we had uh, get primary clone ID. Cowabunga. Um, and uh, other single dot flags or equals this uh, appear after teleport. Okay, manager. Is this on the move info? Wait, what? Holy crap, it's on the move info, guys. I don't have the Casey, doesn't have Casey, Casey have like a, a dunce hat or something that he wears? Actually, no, never mind. I was gonna say I don't have to do this, but I, I do have to do this. Never mind, because we don't we don't have right permission to the move info and it's not guaranteed. OK, never mind. Never mind. We don't have a dunce hat. Piggy hat. Yeah, this is sort of a piggy hat situation, but not really, because it turns out I thought for a minute it was a piggy hat situation. Uh, but I realize now it is not necessarily a piggy hat situation. We're fine. Um, I was about to say all this code, this code that I typed that represents approximately three working days of typical programmer productivity was about to be deleted. But um, no, no, it shall not. We say, um, we just say on the move info, that's all we do. Yeah, three working days. Industry standard lines of code per day is 10 lines. Hey, look, we only have one and we have Cowabunga and Cowabunga. 50% of the time, it works every time. Well, my emote doesn't work. Did we rename it? What's the emote? Is it 60p? What? What is my emotes? I want to type my emote and I haven't typed it. I don't even know what page. Ah, uh, there we go. People have it. Oh, right. Cause I changed, I changed my name. That's why that's how long it's been. Okay. 60% of the time it works every time. This time it worked every time. Okay. Now can we also do this with a double beam? I or sorry, an endpoint beam. I think we can. Let's make two other clone sickles. Um, the problem is we're sort of doing we're sort of doing the wrong check because with mirror merges. You can do all sorts of shit. Um, and I think the wizard will work now. Okay, so 60-50. Boom. So these guys also... 
Boom. Ha ha. Ha ha. Cowabunga. These ones. Boom. And these guys. But that's special handling. We undo all the people. Okay, that's special handling. I believe I could remove the special handling. Um, need better criteria. Need better criteria. Criteria. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that. Let me go adjust the temperature. I also am going to need more water. What about this engine makes it seem like turn-based only? I don't, it doesn't seem that way to me. got some water, I got some tuna in a bag. We are living the high life now. I'm also going to scoop the disgusting snickerdoodle rooibos out of my teapot while I'm doing this. Are there any questions about what we have done in, in the program? Anyone, anyone. Looks like you're trying to handle cloned units. What do you mean trying? Fuck off with your trying. What is this trying bullshit? That is not the language of winners. Did you not see me just literally just handle guys being teleported to the same square? Did you not see me succeed? Did you not see the word cowabunga, which indicated success? Why use clone ID instead of type is equal to type? Well, so firstly, the entity type is like guy, which is incredibly sexist, but that's what it is. So all of these characters are the same type. You could check like the mesh name or the ability flags or something. 
but we in fact have levels where there are two warriors with like you know different colored clothing or whatever but who are not clones of each other so what we are testing is are these dudes actually clones Casey's asking, is it sexist or sexual? Um, haven't you heard, Casey? Sexual is sexist if you're male. You can't, you can't have anything sexy happen in any societal context if you are male. That is sexist. It is sexual harassment. Now that the disgusting tea is gone, I'm going to do Pacific Peppermint, which is false advertising because I'm on, on the Gulf of Mexico right now, which means I could swim to Mexico if I want to. Do I take off topic questions? Dude, when I ever get on topic questions, it's a fucking Christmas miracle. You've already had some dude asking me about Emacs. How are you determining the end condition in a one line if? You just parse an expression. And then you end when the expression's over. It's just a different aesthetic choice than C makes about what to do there. Uh, I saw Ricky Gervais's comedy special today. It's pretty okay. Like, I like his shorter, like his Oscars stuff that he did or whatever, I think was funnier and higher density, but, um, you know, it was all right. I'll take it. It's a watchable comedy special. What is break single? It's when you are not getting along with your girlfriend anymore. It's a very sexist programming language. Okay. Um, now. What was I about to do? before I was insulted by somebody saying I was trying to program or something. Um, so we had dudes, they were merging. I, w I typed this comment that I need a better merge criterion that matches the mirrors. Is that, was I gonna do something else first? I kind of don't think so. I feel like this. Might break levels, maybe not. I 
Guessing magic mirror levels, designers be careful setting all the IDs of the characters? No. I mean, only if they're supposed to be clones of each other. At, at the start of the level time. Okay. So. Here we do something where we decide, oh, we have can merge. <gasps> This is sort of a different test than the one that I'm doing, but it's effectively the same test. Oh my God. If the number of gems is not the same, we don't mer. Okay. Okay. That's fine. We could just add the number of gems together. Except that would give you infinite gems exploit. Okay. Um, 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 we're just going to modify this. We're going to save this. And we don't actually have to do both sites at the same time. This is the can go part. And this, what we're about to do should be a superset. Right, so we're going to go if can merge other moved. Wow, what a more terse code that is. Hell yeah. So all our guys should still work. Break is insensitive and should be renamed to politely excuse. An executable file. Oh my God. I never realized that. Okay, we got Cowabunga. See, Cowabunga means you're a successful programmer. People don't understand this. Okay, so we got another. Wait. That guy doesn't generate Cowabunga. Oh, because I. That's what I was going to go do is turn off that flag. We're not engaging that cowabunga because he blew himself, right? It's like Tobias. He blews himself. It doesn't work in the third person. It only works in the first person. <laughs> okay, so we got two cowabungas for three characters. Let's go back and... I mean, he is blue. So, um, Hopefully that works. We might have, we might have to do something else to make it think it actually can go. Anyway. Okay. Boom. Now we got a cowabunga for the wizard, which means he's good. And the druids are good. And so is she. 
boop. This is gonna be such a good game. Holy crap. Just even just the levels, just the levels I made this past week would be like a good indie game, sort of. Not quite big enough to be big enough. But like how long, those levels are probably at least 20 minutes each, right? So I made 14 levels. Uh, so, I mean, I made like five hours of gameplay. Of fucking stonks, really good gameplay this week. That's, that's what you need to do to succeed on Wall Street. What if the game is too good? Yeah, I mean, nobody has ever mapped the upper bound of the game goodness integer. Okay, this T is just completely flavorless. Washington State, USA. Casey, why is your Pacific peppermint just fucking blah? Do you know why? Do you want to take one guess at why? See if anyone can guess. I kind of forgot to put the tea in the pot. That's why. Just like as a programmer, you're supposed to check to see if it was your bug before blaming the compiler. I had to check. I actually checked to see if it was my bug, and it was. Actually, to be honest, what I really checked for was like, how much did I put in? Did I accidentally put like a, a small teaspoon or whatever? And the answer was zero. The answer was zero. So this is like, you know, when the gaming website publishes a review of like Mass Effect and it's not 10 out of 10 and the gamers riot. And then you have to publish like a re-review. Because you can't have gamers rioting like that, you know. Wait, okay, this is not good. Wizards are not supposed to fucking auto merge like that. What the actual fuck? Did that cowabunga? Okay, we have a problem. That's going to break all kinds of shit. Okay. But before we address that problem. See, this is why when you make changes, you retest things that already work because they may stop to work. All right. Before we do that, we're going to leverage this can merge scenario in... Here, in our Cowabunga. Just right here. That's all we do there. Okay, reset, boom, one cowabunga, boom, two cowabungas, three, four, wait, four cowabungas, wait, what, 
Okay, we're on wizard. Boom. Okay, that gave us two more cowabungas. Will that put something in the log? No. Will that put something in the log? No. Dang it. We're in the console. What can I do to put something in the console? Anyway, there are six cowabungas. Now there are eight. That is very bad. Um, we, we the people, do not believe in eight cowabungas. However, we also want to know Why is this happening? Because we're not we're not checking the fucking destination square, guys. And by we I mean you all, because that is definitely not my fucking fault. Okay. We are not even checking the target square. Wrapped distance. Okay, you know what? It's time. We're going to leverage a compiler feature as motherfucker. Boom! I'm tired of Typing manager.proximityGrid. Dude, it is so much easier to refactor data structures in this language than in C++. Holy cow. Holy cow. Okay. Vertical. Hey, look. It, uh, like one of them swapped with the other or something. That's what's supposed to happen, though. That's also what's supposed to happen. Single cowabunga now. See, I fixed... I fixed, well, now there's double cowabunga because we did it twice. Now there's three. See, I fixed it, though. Now there's four. Boom. Now there's five. Hell yes. I mean, I believe it's mission accomplished, like George Bush says. Should I pour the tea now? Has it been enough? I mean, or do I want to compensate for my seemingly weak tea experience by oversteeping it? Should the two blue guys swap? They do. Watch. I believe they do. You just can't tell the difference because they're clones. But if I dye one of the clones clothing's a different color, which is not a thing that we do in these cases, but if I do that, if I say this guy, check out, he's orange wizard for some fucking reason, as if that were a thing. There we go. Why are you telling me that they don't swap? Now, all of this said, actually, normally when people are clones, we, uh, we have them be mirror images of each other, just... When they're generated that way, but like, here we go. So now you can see one of them's right foot forward, one of them's left foot forward, and then swap. 
swap, 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 swap. So, yeah. Okay, now I think we get to do fun level design, by which I mean fun for me. And I want to do hyper jump too, because I really liked hyper jump. Hyper jump too. There are particles that show up. What do you, do you not see the particles? What is going on in chat? What, there are particles. Okay. So last time, um, we did a bunch of levels and let's just go to hyper jump one. This one's going to be different. Um, hyper jump two. Hyper jump two is going to have at least one of these fucking guys, maybe multiple ones. It is also going to be a long level. In fact, we're going to make it comically more long just to do. Th In fact, you know what? We're going to make it fucking Cohen Brothers, David Lynch ass long. Why? For effect. We are firing for effect right now. Okay, that's my new workplace policy fire for effect okay um and it's going to be a horizontal jump and not a vertical jump okay it is it is a hyper jump in the other direction. So we're not going to do this. We're not going to do this. For some reason, I want it to be like right to left, even though we do left to right in, in the traditions. And let's just, let's just say we have this. This is going to be a real wide landing platform. I don't know. And the thing is like in the corner. I don't know. Okay. And then we're going to have a launch platform. And then should I? I don't know if we should delete that or not. We'll leave it around for now. We might delete it. Uh, okay. What does this say? Let's delete that wussy ass note. And, you know, actually, let's give us a little space. I don't think we need as much as we took, though. So this guy is going to go back and forth to the sentry zone in the middle. 
And in that zone, and we're probably going to trim this down or something. I don't, I don't know. Um, in that zone, let's give ourselves a little more room. Actually, no. So it's going to just be, we're going to have this. All right. And I kind of, I kind of want this to star the thief because we've been having a good time with levels starring the thief. Oh, this shouldn't be mirrorable actually. Why did I retype that? I had it in the buffer. Um, this is not mirrorable, so we can get rid of these. This hyper jump does not involve mirroring the mirror. Um, so now I'm just going to set up like I often do the final situation, and you will be mega spoilered on the final situation. Um, and then, then we'll just see. Like, I feel like I want, I don't know where that mirror is going to be. There's going to be something involving the mirror, like how you get it where you want it to be. But where you want it to be is actually here. And I f let's make the falling speed really slow for now. And you'll kind of see why that is. Because, because. Now, I feel like this is not even like that. I don't know. That might be solvable. Okay. Hyper jump S2. Okay, so. Oh, fuck. It doesn't turn. Guys, I forgot and thought that these guys turn automatically. This ruins the whole level. No, it doesn't. We're just going to have to use something else. We're just going to have to use something else. Okay. It's not going to have a rover. Or maybe it is going to have a rover. Okay, there's two ways to do this level. Let's do it the rover way. And we're just going to set up the thing, right? So is this going left? No, it's going right. Okay. So like I said, there's probably going to be... I don't even know if this is going to be possible with rovers because the dude will like turn around. Also, these have to be the other way around. Oh, that would have worked right there. Okay, so that goes that way. That goes that way. Is this better than a goblin turn version? I don't know. All right. Oh, my hyper jump was one, one square shy. One square shy. So is that too simple? Maybe not, because you have to think of the idea of how to put the things. Now, instead, it could be like a goblin turn hyper jump. 
or it could be lilies floating in a water hyper jump. Um, I don't think I like those more. The goblin one is complicated because you then have to have an extra character probably. Actually, let's try a fucking goblin version. Okay, we can do this. This is fine. So now, because goblin version might be nuttier, maybe. We'll see. Goblin version would involve a dude here and a dude there. And we would just be up higher. Oh, but no, because we got to block the vehicle. Okay. So this hyper jump says, I want you to come toward me. Oh, whoops. No, do not do that. Okay, this one isn't going to work because he's going to turn before I can jump. Oh, he didn't, he didn't turn. Oh, shit, guys. It's a one use. It's a one use hyper jump. Maybe we could we could maybe do it with greats, but like I think it was because the thing is blocked. It doesn't. I don't know. Okay, let's just see. I think I have to jump, and then wait for the rover to come back a square. Like it's kind of nutty. I think I have to go here. Ah, it didn't land on the rover correctly. Maybe I can just wait till it goes. All out goblin hyper jump. I didn't, I didn't correctly teleport. That might be just hard to pull off. Cause the thing is I'm one square over. Yeah, it's too late by the time they actually hit. And the thing is not because the falling speed is so slow. It doesn't land on the rover in time. There's other stuff we could do. Like, for example, I mean, we're just being a little bit nutty here. Let's close this one. It's distracting me. Um, let's like if we do this, this is less friendly because it's a one off. But, you know, you got you got rewind in this game. Um, that's not going to be any better though. That'll keep the thing elevated, but I still have to jump a square early, which means it's no longer under me when it turns. So I can't hyper jump, right? Like, see, Also, this isn't really simpler than the two rover one. The problem with the two rover one is um, 
you know, probably. Maybe I have to make one of the mirrors mirrorable. Because, like, you want to have to set up the rovers. And not just like it's good if the player does something that requires them to demonstrate understanding of what's happening, right? Um, Lily's floating in the water hyper jump. I mean, can we finally make a level that stars the lizard? You know, we probably should. I just wanted, these were the ideas I was excited about today. So this is what I want to do today. There is at least one additional level that stars the lizard, but I don't necessarily have ideas for other ones, but that doesn't mean they're not there. Since there are two gaps there, I don't know what you mean by two gaps there. Oh, on the thing. No, because there is the only reason there's a gap on the left is to put the target far away. That is literally all we are doing with that. There's I don't think there's going to be anything over there. We might even just put some water to be funny or who even knows. We could make these guys mirrorable. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. But we could. Okay. Let me go back to the rover one. And let's just see if we enjoy the setup that we could do. Like, for example, there's actually a fair bit of interesting. See, all I'm thinking is if the thief ever gets down here right now, unless there's a mirror down there, thief can't get up. And it would be interesting to have to come down here and pull things into place, right, in the pit. But then one of these mirrors maybe has to be down there. Maybe there's an extra one. Um, but there's, unless I make it mirrorable, there's like no way to get it up. And if I do make it mirrorable, that we're starting to get into hyper jump one territory. I just don't want to introduce that's a high powered thing if you know what i mean now if this is over here we could sort of start this level by like look daddy -o, you have to get this guy down onto the ground Ugh. So you kind of have to, let me get a little earlier. See, I have to do that with better timing. Let me just pull him back. Bro. Like I kind of want to block him with a rock or something to make this easier. Not Iraq the country, but, you know. Also, actually, the levels probably shouldn't be. Um, well, 
What? Bro. Why didn't I pull the guy? What? Am I going too soon? We have to tune these. Yeah, it was too soon. Okay. So that was kind of fucked, but I got it down there, right? Problem is... Um, now, if I go down there to adjust it to the correct target position, I cannot get back up. So I do need to fix that. Okay, what if they, let's just make it easy. These guys are in the pit. We have three mirrors. Why? So that I could get back up. All right. Deal with it. And clearly there's no one over here and there's no way to get one there. You kind of would like to drag this down, but you can't. So these guys are just here and in order to, okay, this is already good because in order to get up, I need to use, I need to use one of the rovers, right? Um, not this guy, but, but the other guy, I need to use this guy because other thief can't push this against the wall by herself, whoops, by herself. No, 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 no. I keep. See, that's what's funny about Thief is I keep mismoving. Okay, so now I can get back up, which is cool. Okay, that's a visual glitch that we need to deal with. I'm gonna write it down. I'm not gonna let it interfere with the level. Wow, that thing, we're gonna have to fix that to make this playable, okay. There's this old like visual error that's on like the movement record for the entity. The goal of which is that it gets interpolated down to zero, but that I guess doesn't currently happen. So that rover is like not even where it looks like it is, but you'll never see where it actually is because the fucking visual error is so huge. Unless maybe we can negate it by having it be in the wrong place. Oh my God, we actually did. All right, let me, uh, okay, we saved ourselves. So right now, when one of these guys pushes the other guy, uh, it's badge. Okay, that was, that was also badge. Fuck. Yeah, this is going to be unplayable, kind of. Although, So I want this guy to hit at the right timing. I want him to push the other guy. Why didn't he push? Push, push. It's like you're having a baby, all right? There we go. So that might be off a little bit now. Nope. Okay. So now I can ride one of these ferry boats to the other side. Now, also, I probably want to tune this level in terms of width and height to make it nicer in some way, right? But here we go. Okay. So I ride the ferry boat to the other side. And oh, crap. You know what? I actually needed, okay, I need two things. I actually want, I need to fix this timing, please. Okay, I actually want, I want this thing to go across on that ferry boat because it needs to be on that side. 
Dang it, dude. The timing. The patterns. Fuck. See, I can't get this mirror against the wall. So I need this dude to be in the middle. And once, once he gets broadsided by this guy... Okay, so this is fine. So now I've got that down there. Actually, right, I don't have to ride the ferry boat to get over here. I can do it any time that I want. And then I can pull this. Wait, I cloned myself. What? What just happened? How did I clone myself? Oh, because I was standing on the literal mirror. That's a mistake. Okay, so I go here and... Then I take delivery of the package. Oh God, he got brought, no, okay, cool. And then I just wanna do that with this guy. Wait, no, that's the wrong one. I wanna do that with this package. This package has to be on the left. Ow. Okay, so I go over here now, and this package has to be on this guy. Okay, I actually like this level. It's a little bit, it's a lot of setup, right? Because it takes so long for the guys to go back and forth. And if I decide that speed in solving the level is more important than the amazing, hilarious comic effect of the very long hyper jump, then we could do that. But uh, okay, so now I just need the timing to line up. And which it seems like it's pretty far from. Let's just see how far it goes for each cycle. This is the thing is like maybe, so probably these should be like two by one or something so that once you set it up, it's stable. Fuck, he bounced. That you you sank my hyper battleship. So it should be next cycle. This should go one more. But like that's the plan is you should be able to if the timing's slightly off, you should be able to edit the timing and whatever. Right. Fuck, he bounced it. What's going on? Bro, do I have to drag him too? Oh, I have to drag him too because it basically takes one anyway to drag him one, probably. Okay. Fuck! What is happening? Okay. So part of what is happening is there is like a one cycle delay. You know, the turnaround instigates a institutes a delay we could have him go into a notch right like notch from minecraft we could have him go into a notch and then the time that he spends blocking is only half as long um all right so now that we know that we can get all this set up for the purposes of expediency designing the level we will now tune the level parameters in such a way that it's nicer to solve without having to do all the tedium every time. Um, so I think I want it to go into a notch. That'll also make it easier to drag things onto the guys. So we could put notches on both sides, honestly. Um, could make the lower level one block thinner so you could pull the mirror right the lower level I don't understand pull the mirror to the edge what like people just type things and they think I understand what they're saying if you delete the top row it makes it 6 by 12 which is 1 by 2 
Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Now, however, I was also going to put a notch. So the question is, is it a one square notch? Probably. That's probably enough. Okay, so now is it 14? Now we might not want that. That might be too long, but we'll see. Okay, so it's seven by 14, but that's not even right because there's a delay cycle every time you turn. So this is actually nine by 16. So we actually do want to delete a row, I think, to get eight by 16 in theory. And then maybe because 14 was feeling kind of long, maybe 16 is just too much. We can always change the rover speed to go faster though as well. Like that's an analog. Let's try that as an experiment. Um, I don't even know. Maybe we don't even expose that right now. Time per rover update. We're just gonna turn that down. And we're gonna see that might, might make them just too hard to pull and stuff. But you can also slow down time. Like we, we give the user a time slowdown control now. Uh, oh yeah, and then I was gonna put this, you know, like here, something like that. Okay, so now in theory, if this is what we want, uh, like, Like in theory, I want this guy going left and this guy going north and then they just go right past each other. Boom, boom, right? Fuck. Why didn't that work? Rovers are supposed to communicate. There might be a first round weirdness. Let's just do this. I think they're supposed to be able to go past each other in this case. If they are not able to do this, then maybe I think about my life choices. It doesn't seem like, mm. let's try this. Yeah, this is like better in terms of waiting for the level, but okay, guys, I don't, I don't know if I did it right. Let's see. Nope, it's still off by one somehow. Oh, maybe because this guy got blocked in waiting for the other guy by a cycle. Michael, Michael motorcycle. That's going to be hard for players to understand. But, you know, if we make a sound and put lights on the thing that light up when it's blocked, I think that'll make sense to people why it takes as long as it does, right? Is there a fast forward for the player? No. Okay. Um, so let me Okay, that was not worth. Um, let's put back a row. And then we'll just pretend like we can't walk all the way to the end. No, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. So this is ugly because it's not even, the notch is not even in the middle, but, um, that seemed like more than one delay cycle. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, no, dude, what is even happening? He waits there a while. Oh, I think he like is turning around each time. I think he's like, turn, turn, turn. I don't fucking know. He is waiting there longer than he should. Okay. I think I have concluded that this level is pretty okay. However, this level will work, but some refinements to the rover rules seem necessary.
because I don't think he should be waiting there that long. And we like for these puzzles to be good, we want these things to be understandable by the player. So now, do I rat hole on doing that in the hour or so that I'm going to go tonight? Oops. I think I want to ask Zach about this. Let me see if I can tell when he's not blocked how long it's taking him to turn by watching the other guy, right? One, two, three. Okay, it looks like when he's not hemmed in, it's fine when he's not Chris Hemsworth. Although there, I'm not even sure what just happened. I wonder if there's something about going left where it takes extra time. No, that was fine. Yeah, the thing making it complicated is, let's just see if we can design the level just, okay, they're spaced out even a little bit more, right? No, because that fucking, ah, uh, ah, uh, okay, let's give him more time to be in here. Let's, I'm just going to do whatever is necessary to make the level work. Like, oh, but that's going to throw off the timing now because our number of squares is different, right? We added one. Yeah. So see, let's, let's just keep trying until we get it the same. So I believe he hit the outside when the other guy hit two north of the outside, the Norseman, he's the Norseman. And then that's way fucking off. Okay, I realize my math in counting. So I sort of, I, I added up the thing and I said, oh, it's, it's plus two for the short way. That's not true if the cycle doesn't involve him doing two round trips, right? Okay, let's just see. So this time he hits the base the ace of base when that guy is one south. Okay. And then it's like way earlier. Like I don't even know how many more fucking turns we need. That's going to add four. Oh, right, because, oh, yeah, cutting out one cuts out two. What if we're an odd number right now? That's going to be ass. Okay, I don't really know if that was one off or not. It was. Oh, maybe not. Maybe this is the right cycle length. I think it is. No, oh, these notches also make it so much easier to load cargo onto the thing. Um, yeah, okay, this feels like a stable cycle to me, right? A stable Michael Michael motorcycle. The level does feel a little too big. Yeah, it is. So now, what if I subtract one and subtract two? This might not actually come out right. Actually, because I subtracted fucking four, I, th this is not going to work. Wait, where was it? Maybe it did. I don't think so. 
I forget what sync points I was looking at. No, I think it's off. Or maybe it's not. No. Wait, did I say he's at the opening of the mouth when the other guy is too north? Or did I say that to myself invisibly, non-verbally? Okay, no, it is. This is consistent. Miraculously. I, I don't exactly understand why. But that's fine. Understanding will come later. This is fine. Says the guy surrounded by flames. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. So I actually want, whoops, I want a little bit of a dock of the bay so I can be sitting on the dock of the bay, the Michael Bay. And all this is going to be gone. And That's probably fine for now. I mean, now we might have to just adjust the cycle a little bit. And the question is, can we do that without them hitting each other, right? So this would not be the right time to hype. Well, maybe we could. But I feel like, OK, let's try pushing this one more. Now, the bigger the map is, oh, see, yeah, fuck. OK, so this is actually the best repeatable, consistent hyper jump that we can do. It starts on the cycle. So hopefully this is enough. It seems far apart. Wait, what? Oh, fuck. We can't have a notch, guys, on this side. Because if the guy goes past the other guy, we can't hyper jump, OK? Because because he's on the wrong side of the guy. So, 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 what you're saying is the lobsters are hierarchical. Um, okay, how about this? Yeah, okay. So now, if I do this, I feel like they collide, right? Maybe not. We'll find out. Okay, so can we hyper jump now? Yes, but not quite to the end of the level. But you know what? I'm a little bit okay with that. So I want to make it in the rules so that these can get closer. Um, but I want to ask Zach about that. What we could fix tonight, however, is that visual error thing that was freaking horrible, right? Because um, that makes things unplayable. Let me tune the level so that I can successfully hyper jump, right? And I want this to actually go out far because like the thing about teleporting right now is if you try to teleport too far off the map, it like blocks you. And that is not an experience that we want the people to have. Invert which rover has which mirror. Oh, you know, maybe that would work. 
as in woodwork and Bernstein. Okay, see, that's pretty comfortable. Now, what I don't like about this is like, this seems, this doesn't seem hyper enough. I mean, maybe it is. Okay, so firstly, there's fucking land there. So fuck you, land. You know what I'm saying? What's a good, uh, this just has an ocean I can copy and paste. I'm just going to use a water, even though I keep saying we should have less water in the game. The, the people can turn this into a pit of boiling oil or something later. I'm fine with that. I'm simply going to use it to, to say, oh my God, Becky, look at her butt. That's what, that's what I want this to mean. That didn't work for some reason. Okay, so now it's even more deadly. And then maybe whoops, I missed. I missed. Dude, don't miss. There we go. Okay, what if we invert which rover has which mirror? Um, I guess that does work. Let's try that flavor flave of this scenario. We're going to have to remember where the things were, but, um, we could be. I don't know, something like that. We have to retune it because I do not remember. Yeah, why don't I think about simple things like inverting which guy has which mirror, guys? Okay, so this guy I meant to be going that way. I think that was the cycle that I had him on. This might be harder for people to conceptualize. Yeah, that is. Because, like... It sort of adds an extra inversion in it. Like the mirror, the actual pro hyper jump mirror, yeah, is uh, is almost never, well, I don't know. I guess it's fine. Yeah, okay, so I don't think I like this one as much. Um, It just seems more complicated to figure out.
here we don't really need a super deep notch what we can do is this and this it's just that notch lets us load stuff in and also it just seems further away Look at how much we got there. We, okay, we could cut out at least two rows here. All right, because we want, we want people to really feel like they got a lot of jump for their money. And then even this little island here, like even all this stuff, okay, like, okay. I want people to feel like we delivered value. Do you know what I'm saying about this? Okay. This is the value that we are delivering. Doesn't that look way further away and harder to hit? Now, also, I mean, I don't really need these corners here. We're just, we're just making the place where you're going further away and harder to hit. Okay, let's let's do a hyper jump. Oh, I barely made it. I barely made it. If you go from too close, you'll drown. You'll drown. No, no, no. Oh, wait. Hold on. There we go. Now, I also... I feel like you ought to be able to see how high in the air you are, right? When... It's like just off camera, probably. So when we are at the apex of the hyper jump. Better. So, for some reason, The movement code in the rovers doesn't seem to work because it's supposed to do this nonlinear negotiation thing where if somebody decides they're moving out of the square that you're moving into, you're allowed to move in there. Now, that said, I feel like 
I'm having a vague memory that maybe I said that doesn't work for um, orthogonal moves. It only works for same direction or something. So I need to check that. You could do an even longer jump back from the exit. Yeah. Um, I mean, without adding things, probably not. Like, you could jump back to the middle very easily. Um, but... I don't I don't think it really works. I mean, I guess I guess we do go a little bit more left of the middle. The problem is the timing for these guys it's sort of unidirectional, right? So like when it's set up for one direction, I would have to go this time, right? So boom, and then it's one, two, three, four moves. We could see how far that is. Um, let me go, I can't quite go to the exit, but um, we might be blocked by the edge of the level. No, that's, that's how far we get because we fall a little bit in the time that the dude is moving to get under us. Um, now, you could make it a return to the start scenario anyway to be cute, but like if you get anywhere in the pit, you can get out with the mirror because you need to be able to set up the puzzle, right? So it's like maybe not that meaningful. Now, I wanted to test, is it like harder to pull these guys? I don't think it necessarily is. So I think their speed is okay, right? The rovers could switch. How are they going to switch position? Like, you could do it by introducing buttons and switches that alter the timing of the level or something, but uh, I think that that would be a different level, honestly. Okay, guys, this having been done... This having been done. We're going to do hyper jump to B. We're going to do a different variant of goblin hyper jump. Okay. So suppose we don't do rovers. Because with the goblin hyper jump, you actually could have more control, right? So... Imagine, if you will, imagine, if you will, there is simply a lone goblin, but you have a friend in the area. Okay. Okay, and this friend can turn the goblin. So now, if I want to fucking hyper jump, I go uh, boom, boom. That's just better. Uh, the problem is, we pretty much need to have this be, for good setup here, we pretty much need to have this be different characters. It would be funny if one of them was the wizard. 
Because he can't teleport to the end anyway, but who knows? It. Yeah. Okay, and then the thing here is I could rotate this back. Oh, I could rotate this back. And then you could hyper jump back if we wanted that. Or you could hyper jump in a different direction. You know, we have like directional directionalness. I like this better because you don't have to set up weird pacing between the guys because that's sort of a different idea for the level of like counting out the number of squares. I don't know. Maybe it's fine. Maybe too simple. No, it's not too simple because like people are not going to know what the fuck to do. I mean, you have to kind of come up with the idea yourself of, of how to do this. I think people are going to be like, what the actual fuck, bro? I think. Um, so do we need a priest as one of the, I'm thinking priest and warrior is sort of the classic, the classic Vlasic pickle. I'm not sure how, without weird geometry, I'm not sure how to put this on the guy's head. So like if we move him here and push it on, we need to get him off the wall, which is doable like this, I guess. It's just. I just want to make sure that weird shapes like this are motivated. Also, this level is way too big. Or north south, but maybe that's fine. Um, This one's also just more analog. Also, if it's a priest, the rotation becomes a little easier, maybe. I don't know. Let's say it's a priest priestly Fido and um, warrior. Just to do that. Okay. And then we'll make this probably rotate that way. I don't know. Okay. So he puts that on there. I mean, this is kind of funny because if I ever want to get up, we could do this trick. Wait, there, like, see now, now we have a way up the thing. See, that could be a clever scenario. Oh, except now we don't have one to put on the guy's head, but we could start them both on top. Anyway, so assuming that, that, oh, dude, the mirrors. Okay. Um, let's just have this guy here and this here. Uh, let's even start this guy turning away because... So I don't remember the goblin rule. I think he'll turn for the warrior. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nutbags.
Banana nut bags. Okay. Okay. So now we can swivel this at will, sort of. Except we needed we needed those two notches. Buenos notches. All right, so we put this on his head. This might be, okay, so this might be actually too obvious in terms of how you do the jump. So that's, like someone said too obvious, but I don't know if exactly what to do is the too obvious part. I think I think what's questionable to me is um, oh, we're also high. Um, it is snappier to do though. It's like, it's just cleaner. I mean, we could do a lily pad version. I don't know, y'all. Let's mock up the lily pad version too. Because why not? So with that one, the jump point, we can have even more water. Okay. For the, for the equivalent jump point. Because if the jump point is here and that might be even funnier or actually oh this might be the best one why are we so elevated what's the z of this what the actual fuck okay um so the thing is if there's a loop taking the lilies around the jump point could be the back of the loop, right? It, we don't want it to be that that long, but like, uh, you know, That just seems like a more impressive distance to hyper jump to me, you know, just if anybody's asking me my opinion on the matter. Okay. And then in this version of hyper jump, it is only one character probably. This one, okay, this might be my favorite. This might be my favorite because you know why? There's not even a fucking upstairs. There's just a character. There's some ocean. There's two mirrors facing the same goddamn way. And, okay, we're going to go, I think... I think I'm going to want this to be square for aesthetic reasons later, but we're going to do this for now. Oh, it is square. Never mind. I'm not sure if I went out far enough here. We will find out. We will find out. Um, 
we will also trim the extents of the level to match this thing maybe I don't know okay um, now two lily pads in order for this to be to work I believe they have to be consecutive because I need to be able to pull this on all right one of these is already facing the right direction for the hyper jump the other one I need to get in the other direction so fuck that it's hard to do this god damn it maybe when I come around see there's just these little in these kind of levels that we haven't done yet there's just always little playabilities okay so now I can pull it off after one rotation. Do you see where I'm going with this? Wait, what, what happened there? Just the weird timing when you're, I think because I'm pulling things, it prevents one of the gameplay transaction simplifiers or nicenessers. Okay, I fucked that up. Maybe not. Okay. Actually, so the problem now is I need another lily pad. Because, like, there's no, I need to pull this on. Maybe it should just be pushing. Let's just let it be pushing. I've been doing a lot with the thief, but we're going to give sailor a try. All right, here we go. That's going to be a lot easier and less awkward. Oh shit. No. Cause, oh no, she could do it. She just has to push off from back here, which is cool, I guess. Oh wait, that was a that was a 360. That was an Xbox 360. Okay, she can't do what we need. Dang it. It's got to be thief. I think. Or wait, maybe if it's the back one. And we get on the front. Okay, well, it's like, when does the rotation happen exactly? You know? Okay, here's... What if we do this? Just for avoidance of doubt, avoidance of gout, you don't want your players to get gout. We're going to like just. We're going to like let you go around the hot tub time machine. OK. Um, see, this is getting more complicated. By the minute. We don't actually need the hot tub time machine to be this big, but whatever. Um, we're just going to do this for now. We're going to figure it out. See, one of the reasons I like this level is because it's simple. And if it gets too complicated, then who knows? But the point being, I could push it on the side here, right? And then it'll, whoops, let's push it on the, wait, no, that was right. And then I can go on here. And definitely, it's like an odd number. I, I don't know how I got that exactly, but OK. So we go there, and then I get on. 
And I guess I guess we push it off here. Okay, that exact rule might change because it depends if we're pushing it before the turn or after the turn. But nevertheless, now we've got this. And then now, if we don't pull it off prematurely, we do this. And now these are going to be 180 on the other side, right? But when that comes around, that's going to be facing the way that we need. And then this one is going to be facing the other way. All right. And then hyper jump, except I just jumped back to where I came from because I can't see myself. And then I jump into the water because the thing's not centered, but okay. We just do our hyper jump over here. That's fine. I think I like this version the best. Okay. It's, it's hard when you can't fucking see how high your hyper jump is because, because your hyper jump is so goddamn high. Do you know what I'm saying to you? Why did that? Oh, it's elevated guys. Wait, wait, you can't, you can't jump into, that's why it wasn't working. I was like, why isn't this working? Okay. Um, I like this one the most. There's all sorts of things we could do if we wanted to make it more complicated. Like you have to put, you have to have the idea to put the lilies next to each other or something. But that necessitates more stones. I don't even know if I want to do that. I think maybe we just leave it just like this. I mean, it is a little bit obvious that you're supposed to put these things on the lily pads. It might be too easy. It might be too easy. Also, we might want to make the hyper jumping further. I don't, I don't actually know. Let's see. Boom. Look at that shit. Look at how incredibly far this hyper jump is. That said, you also couldn't go back this way, right? Because you would just fall in the water probably. Or I don't know, you might be able to reach the middle island. Actually, no, you could on, on this side of the loop, you go hyper. Okay. That time we would have jumped off the map, which is why we couldn't jump because it blocks you if it goes off the map. That's actually bad. Um, cause we could jump from way back fricking here. So we actually want to make the map bigger. Maybe, I don't know. Is there a way to recover if you put the mirrors in the wrong order? Um, no, I think you're just hosed. <laughs> Don't do that. So I might be making the level just way too big for comedy's sake. That said, I mean, okay, with the current level size, 
I was able to be quite hyper, right? No, actually not that hyper. Since this hyper jump is easier and the timing is much more controlled, I think we get better comic relief by making the island tiny. See what I'm saying? Whoops. I think it's like, because that, that big island was like there for uncertainty of timing reasons. Now, I kind of don't like, I kind of don't like the off-centeredness of the exit, but what do you want? What do you want for me? Wait, what happened to the river? Oh, I blew away the river accidentally somehow. That's not supposed to happen. Well, now's my time to question, do I want it to be three by three? I feel like that might be too short of a loop, but three by three might just have better. aesthetic properties like the level is maybe a little bit big if you know what i'm saying putting the goal a bit to the left while making the area surrounded by water gives an impression of a desolate place what Three by three means the player doesn't have to wait as long. Yes, um, that said, it might not be. It might not be good. I don't know. We'll see. Let's try three by three. Um, I just I felt like I might not like it, but we should try it. Because then we could get rid of a row and like there's just way too many like columns in this level. That said, we actually don't need a lot of it like for symmetry sake I put these bottom two right we can get rid of these bottom three fucking rows right which I think is probably the right move I feel like this is okay. We could always like turn down the lily speed slightly if I don't like it. Like if, if we want to tune it, but also, okay. What, what, uh, oh, it's one for closer in dude. Wait, it's one closer in. Um, but I think that's worth it for the size of the level anyway, because we're going to do the following. Boom, 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 boom. My river's in the wrong place again. Why does that keep happening, dude? I thought I made all my tools good at that, and it's apparently not. So now we get to manually repair the river. Hey, yo, river. I mean, it looks a little weird. 
Okay. Let's get the camera in a little bit closer. Like before. Oops, I missed the turn off. Oh, dang, she can't, she can't double push like that. I don't know. I don't think I want to start this against the wall because. Wait, now they're the wrong way. Oh, because the freaking. OK, that's the thing I don't like about this is the. So. The four by four. There's this ambiguity of like when the fuck things turn. But I guess you can deal with that by just using the middle one. I was trying to not use the middle one. And uh, yeah. Yep. Okay, so. We're hyper jumping now. All right. Oops, I didn't get on the ride. I didn't get on the ride. Okay. Hey, oh, oh, shit. Remember when I said we can totally delete all this stuff? We can't. Because I need to be able to get it off the wall. You don't get why the stream can't be centered because you need to be able to push stuff on over there, bro. Bro. I mean, I should line this up with the little pond. happened oh I hit s instead of activate boom that's cutting it a little close like I would like a, a more museum of tolerance on that So like this, but basically this is a level. Yeah. If if the area on top of the stream weren't there, 
you wouldn't really have control. You might be able to do it actually, still, maybe. No, actually you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to. You just, you need to be able to get things to go less than four rotations around, right? Because that's how we're rotating the dealy bopper. So this was my way of doing that. Um, that said, you all, even without that, you could go less than four around, I think because you push it on in the middle and you push it off in the corner and it's gone three and you do that twice. But that sort of invites more play around this question of like, when does it fucking rotate? And um, I don't know, we would like that to be clearer perhaps. Can you slowly pads down? I mean, you have a time control that you could make time go slow. So whatever, whatever, whatever. Make the center of the stream loop land. That would not help you. Unless there were a lot more lily pads, then it might help you. I mean, we could do it two by two lily pad. It's just those would be constantly rotating and that might be worse. So We got a level out of it. Um, the rover, I think this is the one that I prefer. Let's record it. But then I'll make notes in the file where I'm like, eh, you know. You know, wait, can we see the top of the jump there? I guess so. kind of near the top of the screen. Okay. I do believe that is my preferred version. So we have some Rover work to do on a future stream. realized I didn't I didn't check in my teleportation changes I 
We could even, for comicness, sort of put that on the left. So it seems further. It's like, I'm closer. That's further. Hell yeah. Can you solve it by pushing it on and off from the front twice? On and off from the front. Uh, I don't know. Okay. We got a level, we discovered some gameplay bugs, but we also fixed and elaborated some behaviors, and that is good. And I think it is Miller time for me. We didn't do everything that I wanted to do. I had ideas for other levels I wanted to do tonight if it went amazingly. But this one took a while. And my tea got cold. Dang it. All right, thank you everybody for coming by. We will sign off now. And you will see a future chapter of video game group house on MTV. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>